in general, automation and the breakthrough of many compounded technologies will actually, in general, affect women more than men. We have a sense that probably about 9% of men's jobs and 11% of women's jobs will be affected, either by way of displacement, changes, or total elimination. And that is so because many women in general, and I'll come back to the low-income and developing countries, which is a specific case, different from the in general situation that I'm describing, but in general, women discharge more um, routine, easily automatable tasks than men. If there is one key to the promotion of equal and full participation of women in the world of work, it is through provision of care facilities and the professionalization and upgrading of the care economy. Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. This is Ajinda Awani and I'm Arfa Yunus. Know, so today we'd like to talk about a gender gap in male dominated industries. These industries include uh, computing, manufacturing, politics, architectural, aviation, and also engineering. So with me today, Dr. Dr. Insinyur Muhammad Abdul Karim bin Abdullah. First, I'd like to start with engineering, your field, uh, which is one of the male-dominated industries. So as a young engineer back in the 80s, how often do you see female engineers back then? Uh, firstly, uh, Afra, thank you very much for having me uh, here. And uh, back to your question just now, I will say that uh, if I reflect back uh, during my uh, university time, I will say that uh, since I'm uh, from the mechanical uh, discipline, there was only one uh, female student uh, plus another uh, more or less uh, 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 a par uh, lady who also joined in at a later stage. So you are right to say that uh, from the perspective of the engineering, uh, especially mechanical, eh, civil there are a lot of ladies. But in my uh, area of uh, specializations, uh, in my time, it's only uh, two ladies in that uh, particular discipline. So, yes, it is true that uh, it's very uh, male-dominated. Why do you think uh, that's the case? Because uh, it will alienate uh, talented women, don't you think? That was during the time, and I will say that uh, if we uh, go back uh, to uh, the historical a journey of how the developments of education uh, happened in Malaysia. Uh, mechanical is always uh, related to the requirements to need physical uh, strength and energy. Yeah? And uh, historically, uh, the mentality and mindset of the Malaysian is uh, lady will not have that uh, physical uh, fitness and strength as compared to the man. Uh, things might change now uh, because the mindset has uh, more or less uh, come in to change the way of the thinking of uh, the women. But the reality is that is what happened uh, during my time. Dr. you started Cyber Dynamic in 1993? Uh, yes, 1993. Okay, so it's an engineering firm, but I've learned that um, you have quite a number of female representation among your senior leadership team. Why? I mean, you're a man and it's a male-dominated industry, so why or what makes you want to have this um, equal representation of men and women in Subadinamic? I think the first uh, thing that I would like to say is uh, women or ladies has reached a level of competency at par with uh, men or uh, in another word, uh, they have also demonstrated the same kinds of uh, capability and knowledge and ability to be at par with uh, men. And I will say that uh, it's not only uh, our organization, Cyber Dynamic, uh, it's also if you look across the entire uh, domestic uh, institutions, uh, Ben Negara, for example, is mm. headed by a lady. Uh, and uh, if you look at the PMB, it's also headed by a lady. These are all big multinational organizations so if you go a bit wider, the IMF itself is led by a lady. 
enter the entire political uh, country of United Kingdom is also led by a lady. Uh, Germany is also led by a lady. So I mean, the, what has happened over all these uh, years has already uh, changed the mindset and also the uh, performance and the ability and capabilities of the so-called the ladies uh, community. So based on that, uh, Cyber Dynamic as an organization uh, cannot deny the reality and the truth of the ability of the ladies and the women. So mm -hmm. they should be given the equal uh, space uh, to uh, develop their career and of course to help to strengthen the uh, positions of the company itself. Female representation is one thing, then there's also the problem with salary. Unfortunately, many women still in a position where they make less compared to men in male-dominated industries. Mm -hmm. So, how do you think we should, uh, we should address this? Maybe a grading system so everyone get uh, equal pay or, or how do you do it in Cyber Dynamic? I, I think in our organization, we already have the grading system for the respective positions. So, it's not based on gender. Is uh, purely based on the positions of uh, what the respective uh, candidates or person who hold that responsibility will be paid. So it's, it's, it's regardless of uh, whether it is a lady or whether it is a man. But I do agree with your statements that in certain uh, country, where the uh, the historical uh, background of the man dominance is still playing a very uh, strong uh, influence and uh, mindset. Uh, there will be, uh, I mean, the differences in terms of the uh, salary uh, based on the gender uh, uh, selection. But not, not mm -hmm. in, in our organizations, and I believe it's also not really in uh, Malaysia uh, context. Mm -hmm. And maybe HR too should play a role in this um, to close the gender gap, maybe well, through various of ways, maybe cultivating a culture of support, prioritize gender bias, education. Your thoughts, Sato? Yeah, th those are the things. Uh, and of course, I, I, I think uh, uh, all the things that has been uh, happening s around uh, surrounding us uh, and also surrounding the entire world with the uh, digitalization technology, internet technology and so on, what is going on is uh, b uh, basically very widely spread and known to everybody. Mm -hmm. So what is going on, especially the positioning of the women uh, uh, in every sector and aspect of the life uh, helps uh, develop country who are exposed to all these informations to change their mindset. So I think uh, this, this will be uh, good uh, for the gender of the uh, women uh, community. Dato, there's also the matter with many women, they actually prefer to stay at home. So how do you think we can attract women into male-dominated industries? Mm, I, 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 I would say that uh, mindset will be one of the things. And uh, secondly is uh, women themselves also has to be uh, proactive and innovative. Mm -hmm. Uh, proactive in the sense that uh, they can always uh, delegate the household responsibility to other people uh, with certain uh, guidelines and also quality to ensure that uh, what has been uh, delegated uh, are uh, going along the line of the standards that is required. So what I'm trying to say is, for example, uh, the role of uh, mm, uh, bringing up a, a baby or the children normally is put to the task of the uh, women. But of course, uh, there are also other uh, categories of people, for example, like the maid. They can come into ACs by giving them uh, the proper guidelines and training. And the women uh, can always be uh, in the uh, community environment, in the uh, uh, company environment, to uh, fulfill the task and role that has been assigned by the respective organizations uh, over to them. And I think uh, uh, this will be the trend uh, moving forward, and we have seen it, and it has been uh, quite successful. And again, uh, if let's say this kind of way is not something which the women community can accept to it, I think uh, the government of the day and the government of the respective uh, country have even uh, come up with new uh, approach where 
uh, those who want to stay at home, they can proceed by doing the approach uh, with the conditions, the task that has been given to them has been completed and done in accordance to what has been agreed between the employer and employee. So all these uh, flexibility and options are available and I will say that uh, there is no reason why uh, there, there will be any reasons to, to, to say that the women are not given the opportunity. Okay, Datuk, hold that thought. We're going for a break for just for a moment and when we come back, we'll talk on mindset and stereotypes. Be right back. We're back in Agenda Awani where today we're discussing on the gender gap in male-dominated industries and one of these industries is engineering uh, and Datuk Karim here is the CEO of an engineering firm. Uh, before I go to my first question, uh, my question of the day is, uh, we heard just now Guy Ryder said that um, uh, for in order for this to work, uh, it is through provision care facilities and uh, professionalization of upgrading of the care economy. Your thoughts on this, Sato? I, I, I think it's, uh, there's not run that much away from what I've uh, mentioned just now. Uh, the care facilities, uh, I believe it is referring to uh, those uh, kind of uh, uh, situation in which uh, engagement of a third party uh, to take over of uh, uh, the fam family affairs which used to be the role of the women. And I think uh, this, uh, uh, some of the things that have been gone oving, uh, gone, uh, ongoing in a big way in the developed countries like Malaysia and a lot of other countries where there are um, uh, centers where the child can be sent to and taken care of uh, properly in accordance to the uh, safety and also security and also the uh, right way of handling uh, all these uh, childhood uh, uh, people. And the uh, key uh, economy, uh, it very much uh, goes back to the knowledge and qualifications. And uh, I think uh, the education uh, results and achievement of the women uh, populations in the all the colleges and universities uh, globally uh, clearly shows that uh, they are better than the men. Uh, I think to a certain aspect, uh, they have the patience to uh, relook into all the uh, theories and, and, and lectures and so on. Whereas men is uh, up to a certain level, they are a bit naughty and uh, uh, not that uh, focused and uh, so on. So the reality is, uh, the results uh, shown is uh, the ladies or the women in terms of the economic uh, a, a, uh, education's uh, achievement is much better as compared to uh, men. Dato, I'd like to talk about mindset. It's quite common uh, for, well, a lot of women have witnessed this, seeing men uh, subtly telling their female employees to accept masculine cultural norms. You know, act like a man, be one of the boys, don't be a crybaby, or don't give excuses like you have a sick child at home and just work those extra hours that I told you. You know, things like that. But it means that the awareness among men <coughs> is still quite low. So how do you suggest we go about with this? Well, I, I, I think those are the uh, psychological uh, war that has been put uh, into the uh, community and especially is uh, head spear or or, or, or being uh, uh, led by uh, this, the, the women, uh, the, the men uh, community. Uh, but I think uh, it has been successful during the early days, and that is why uh, women uh, or the ladies are a bit uh, scared to uh, go out and really compete in the open uh, competitions uh, within the uh, career world or in any parts of the sectors of the uh, economy and other parts of the uh, uh, activities within the community. But things have changed because 
what really demonstrate uh, in front of our eye now is different from what has been mentioned just now. So there is an evidence to show that the mindset of the uh, women community has really changed. They have proven themselves and they are even uh, uh, without any doubt uh, uh, entrusted with all those responsibility which uh, previously is been held and uh, executed by the men community. Uh, women should uh, not be uh, scared uh, because the uh, legal uh, infrastructure and framework, especially in the context of Malaysia and any other developed countries, are all there for them to hold on to. Even the, the legal uh, professions and so on, there are a lot of credible uh, lawyers which can come in to help them to defend uh, from the legal uh, aspect. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, uh, there should not be any reasons why they should hide themselves and be not daring enough to voice out uh, if such a situation uh, happen. But again, uh, I, I will say that I strongly believe uh, this kind of uh, situation will uh, decrease uh, in years to come because I would say that uh, the social media plays quite an important role. Viral uh, can, can go uh, across the entire domestic uh, uh, geographical uh, coverage very fast and also uh, internationally. So all these uh, situations, I would say, that will safeguard and help uh, to protect uh, if this kind of situation uh, really uh, mm -hmm. happen. Dato, I believe nowadays <coughs> more and more women are not afraid of taking chances. Uh, we'll switch jobs when we feel underappreciated. We speak up when we're being bullied at work. But then that's when the labelling starts. Uh, or oh, that lady is a pain. She's difficult to be uh, to deal with. So just because she stood her ground. So. Why do you think this is ha happening? This kind of situation does not only happen between uh, the gender uh, community. It's also happened uh, in, in a situations uh, on the religious background, on the racial background, and uh, quite a number of other uh, uh, cases of different uh, issues. So again, uh, if you look across the entire all those issues, religious issues, racial issues, and gender issues, and so on, I will say that uh, it is a normal a routine challenge in every individual uh, life and the uh, motivations uh, to move on is to voice out, uh, go to the right channel and uh, get uh, the respective uh, individuals entangled in this kind of situation uh, to get their judgment uh, based on the regulatory uh, requirements. And I would say that uh, if you look uh, from the Malaysian uh, perspective, uh, women empowerment is the agenda of the uh, government of the day and also the government uh, before this, where they really put on the regulatory requirements to ensure that the participation of women from all different strata of uh, career are being looked into. I give an example. Like uh, the board of directors in listed uh, company, they need to have at least uh, 30%. Mm -hmm. uh, board members to be uh, the women uh, 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 background or, or the category to be given to the women. Uh, that shows that uh, the seriousness of the regulator in ensuring that uh, these uh, women uh, positions uh, are being uh, protected. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can continue talking about gender inequality in male-dominated <coughs> industries for the next 30, 40 or even 50 mm. years mm. from now, but we won't see the solutions or results if uh, women themselves don't change their mindset to start thinking and behaving as leaders instead of just yep. followers. Your yep. thoughts? Mm. Uh, I would put it this way. The initial uh, mindset, if we look at uh, when we talk about uh, gender, is uh, talking about masculine and uh, the physical uh, strength between the both uh, the men and also the women. Mm -hmm. uh, to a certain extent, I think we, we, we cannot deny that uh, physically the man has a stronger uh, uh, energy as compared to women. Of course, there are certain percentage is the other way around. Mm -hmm. That is true. But the reality, majority, is still the fact that uh, men will have physical strength much uh, stronger than the lady or women. But my belief is this. 
In this uh, highly technological world that we are living, uh, physical strength and so on is not the end game or the end decisions to see who will be in power. It's looking at the, bra uh, the, the brain, the mindset, and the strategic uh, thinking of the respective uh, person that will decide who will be in the controlling positions. So upon mentioning that, if you look at what I've mentioned at the early stage, the Prime Minister of dominant country, United Kingdom, Germany, and uh, New Zealand, uh, high positions in the GLC uh, at the moment in Malaysia, Bank Negara, the governor, uh, PMB, uh, investment entity, one of the biggest in Malaysia, are all being managed and lead by women. So what does this mean? It means that the women has positioned themselves into the front line in terms of their intellectual, in terms of the ability to come up with strategic plan, and in terms of their discipline in managing a big organization or big country. So the employee is not talking about all this uh, physical strength and so on. Mm -hmm. It's the mindset and the ability to come up with uh, strategic thinking and other tools related to that. So it's the mindset. So and at the end of the day, it, it starts with us women. Uh, forget about what people think or what people say. If you know what you're doing is right, then do it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Dato, uh, for being with us today and for sharing your views and your opinions with us. And it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, that's all for Agenda Awani tonight. Um, thank you. I'm Afra Yunus. Assalamualaikum and good night, everyone.